Greetings, this is Minister Joshua Wright, a.k.a. The Gospel Jukebox, and welcome to Weekly Manor from Heaven. Yes, we are in week 62, you guys. Yes, it's been 62 weeks since I've been doing Weekly Manor from Heaven, and I'm just thanking and praising God for this amazing platform. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for watching, for supporting my vision, my passion, because preaching and teaching the Word of God is something that I enjoy doing. And I pray that I am a blessing, that I'm an encourager, that I'm a helper to those that need help. If there's anything that I've said, anything that I've done throughout my sessions, I've done my job. So thank you all so much for tuning in and just being supportive of our bra. Now, Weekly Manor from Heaven is a platform where I just share the good news of Jesus Christ. I go into the Old Testament and I go into the New Testament and I just interpret what the Holy Spirit gives me. Interpret what the Word, what the word is saying. Um, I usually post Weekly Manor from Heaven every Sunday on my website at www.gjbinc83.com. If you missed any episodes or if you're new to Weekly Manor from Heaven, you want to catch up from the very beginning, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in GJB, GJB Inc. 83, all one word. Make sure to share, like, comment and subscribe like let a brother know how he's doing it and different things like that don't just be a ghost and just watch it and don't say anything leave some remarks leave some uh encouraging words constructive criticism because I, I i can take it i'm a big boy uh things that i need to improve things you would like to see things topics you would like me to talk about and research on all those different things your comments are welcome i encourage you leave some comments and different things like that so again, I just thank you uh, for just being supportive, for tuning in, and, and, and different things of that sort. Also, I have a merchandise store. You know, when you see the GJB Inc. logo, and then it disintegrates into a million pieces. The, the logo, I have it on shirts. I have it on koozies. I have it on baby, baby onesies. Um, now it's getting a little cold. It's getting a little brisk outside. So now you can get your pullovers, your sweatshirts, everything. Support the GJB Inc. 83 brand. Support support my ministry. So you can go to uh, www.storefrontier.com slash GJB Inc. 83 and buy my merch. Support my merch store. Be a patron. Be a supporter. Also, I have my fashion line called A King's Heart Apparel. Y'all, I have some exciting news. I have added new prints i have added new patterns now you have every color of the rainbow i've added orange i've added brown i got tiger print i got the graffiti print i have this uh all kind of other prints and now i'm in the process of working on my african pride heritage collection so i'm adding african prints and let me tell y'all oh my god it's coming out so nice if you want something to wear for Black History Month, or it's uh, Black History, Black History is every month. It's not just in the month of February, but I have things that you're going to be able to wear during Black History Month in February. Or if you just want to, if you just want to support your heritage or your culture of being African, I got you covered. When I tell you, wait till you see the designs that I have for this new African collection. Y'all, the colors are so vibrant and so bold and so beautiful and so elegant. I just can't wait for y'all to rock the African collection. So your boy is doing big things. I mean, support a brother. Go on that on my clothing line store and purchase something. And you can go there by typing in akheart dot ken custom dot com again that's aka heart dot ken k i n c u s t o m dot com be a patron be a supporter i encourage this is um my challenge to all my subscribers all my followers family and friends anyone that tunes in go to that web go to that clothing line website purchase something but i would tell you um, I should have the African Pride Heritage Collection done this week. Yeah, so I should have I should have it finished this week. So if you wait until I get it done, because I promise you I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna try to get it done by next Sunday. By next Sunday, everything should the African collection should be done. Go in there and purchase. You can go in there and purchase. Like some of the African collection is already on there. 
Like I'm getting close to finishing all the tops and everything. I'm getting ready to go into doing the jackets and pants and stuff. But all the if you want a shirt or top, pretty much all the shirts and stuff are done. But I haven't done like the accessories, the shoes, the uh, bed sheets and all that stuff. All that all that stuff yet. That hasn't been done yet. So that's gonna be done throughout this week. But be a supporter. Be a patron of a King's Heart Apparel. It, it, it is a passion, a labor of mine. I put a lot of love. I put a lot of time. I put a lot of energy and a lot of creativity in this line. So support a bra. Oi? Okay. Now, this week would have been week 63. But I took a break last week. Like, y'all, I was not mentally physically prepared i was sick last weekend i wasn't feeling good it was just a lot of things coming against your boy and that's why we didn't have a weekly manner from heaven last week so sometimes we just have to have a mental break a refresher a revival or just a, just for god to just download and to restore us sometimes you crash and burn and sometimes we will we need god to restore us and that's what god has done god has done since last weekend and all this week god has just been purging and cleaning and moving on my behalf and a lot of things a lot of wonderful things are coming out of that rest and out of god renewing my mind which is going to kind of bring us to our topic today but um, yes, Weekly Manor from Heaven is back in full effect. I am full of energy. I am restored. I am revived. I am renewed. I am energetic. And I am ready to rock and roll and do a the of the Lord, what God called me to do. Now, also on my official website, I'm on every social media platform. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on all those social media accounts. If you want fast and easy access to all my social media content, go to my website and at the bottom of every page, I have the icons. You just click on the icons and bam, it's going to send you to Facebook, send you to Instagram, send you to Twitter. So follow me on all social media platforms. I'm on everything. I am everywhere. I'm all seeing. I'm all known. I'm not God, but I'm, I'm on all social media platforms. Okay. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father. First of all, God, we just thank you, God, for being God all by yourself. We thank you, God, for last night rest, aluminum rise, operation of all our limbs and ligaments, and giving us a mind to continue to serve you and function on a daily basis and, and letting us see a brand new day that we never seen before. Father, Father, actually, just to give us clean hands and a pure heart, renewing us a right spirit, take our hearts and mold, mind transforming, will and conforming to your ways, oh God. God, this is the day, Lord, that you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it because I'm found yet in thy land of the living. Somebody didn't have a chance to say thank you. Somebody didn't have a chance to wake up this morning and just to see this glorious new day, Father. And, Father, you saw fit to let me see another day. And for that, God, I say thank you. Father, I ask you just to touch each and every person that tunes into Weekly Manor from Heaven, Father. Father, they're all standing in need of a blessing, Father. So, Father, I ask you to meet the need of thy people. Meet the need of all your people that tune in and watch, Father. Father, we just thank you, God. We just give you all the honor and glory that is due your name, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for rest. We thank you, Lord, for inspiration. We thank you, Lord, for rejuvenation. We thank you, Lord, for clarity. We thank you, Lord, for peace. You say you give us peace that surpasses all understanding. I just, I just can't thank you enough, God. God, you have been so amazing in my life. And you continue to amaze me. You keep continue to amaze me, Father. And Father, for that, Father, I want to say thank you, Father. Father, forgive me for conscious sins as well as subconscious and unconscious sins, Father. I actually throw them into the sea of forgiveness, Father. I repent for my wicked ways, Father. Anything that's not of you, God, I ask you to burn it up right now, Father. More of you and less of me, Father. Father, I declare and decree that today is going to be an amazing and awesome day, not only for me, but for all those that watch, all your people, Father. I declare and decree that they have an amazing uh, day today as well, Father. Father, actually, when I open my mouth to speak your word or to preach or to teach, Father, that you put me aside and let the Holy Ghost that you have endowed in me take full control. So, God, when I open my mouth, you take full reign, full control over the conversation, over the topic. Father, we'll forever give you all the honor and glory that is due your name, Father. 
Father, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who pleads our cases to you, who is our intercessor, who is our intermediator to you, to, to you, who is our access to you, oh God. Father, in these many blessings, I ask for your darling son, Jesus' name, and the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, and we say amen. So, y'all, I'm just excited. I'm, I, I'm, as you can see, I'm just, I'm glowing. I'm just excited. I'm happy to be back. Cause I'm telling y'all, I, cause I really felt, I felt a little bad last week that I didn't do weekly manner for heaven. Cause I'm a kind of person where I want to, I try to be consistent. And somebody might have needed the message. They might have been going through something last week, and I wasn't there to provide. But you gotta remember, sometimes we just, we get burnt out. Even in, in the ministry, as, as laborers of Christ, just preachers, as teachers, as prophets, we get tired too. We, we need somebody to pour in and restore us. But I'm back, stronger than ever. So let's go into the topic for today. Um, the scripture will be coming from Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 2. Again, that's Romans 12, verse 2. And this is a popular scripture, and it reads as follows. And do not be conformed to this world, but what? Be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Renew your mind. So I kind of want to use for a subject or a thought or a topic that I thought of was reform my mind or reform my thoughts, oh God. Sometimes... We have to change our mindset or sometimes we have to allow God to change the way we think or change the way that we do things. So um, in the spiritual aspect, in order for us to grasp spiritual things, we have to be transformed. We have to have a mind of Christ. And that, that's the ultimate goal. We want we want to think like God and have a mind like his. So sometimes we got to ask God, Lord, renew my mind, transform my mind, uh, remove those wicked thoughts or remove those worldly ideas and different things like that and give me a mind like yours so I can function in the in the kingdom of Christ, in the body of Christ that I need to be. Because being as a laborer, being as a minister, a preacher, a teacher, a prophet, or different things like that, we have to have a mindset of God. We have to put aside flesh, fleshly thoughts, and what? Have the thoughts of the Father. Because we need to have pure clarity we can't we can't have all this all this mind clouded with all kind of junk and all kind of stuff that's not of god because how can we preach to the people how can we teach teach to you or, or go to god's people if our mind is not transformed or changed to operate and function like a mind of christ again we we talk about it all in the word that we strive to would be like christ each and every day we call ourselves Christians, root word Christ. The, the word Christ is in the word Christians. So we call ourselves Christians, we have to what? Be Christ-like. And we have to be Christ what? Minded. Now also in the physical aspect of renewing our mind, sometimes we have to ask God to regulate our mind. Um, we seem like we feel like we're losing our mind or we're being forgetful, different things like that. That's why I, I always pray. Um, to ask God to restore my dad's mind. Because sometimes um, sometime lately my dad, he's been kind of forgetful about things. So I ask God, God, restore his mind. Restore his mind to the way that it, it needs to function. Because sometimes the enemy, the enemy likes to attack our minds. There's a, a phrase that says, our idle mind is what? A devil's workshop. Now, what I mean by saying an idle mind is a devil workshop is if, if, if Satan can get to your mind and attack your mind, he has full control of what the entire body you have to think about the brain the brain is the the processor for the body your body is a computer and while without a processor the computer can't function right so without your brain without your brain functioning the way that it, it, it needs to go the body will not function as well so if the brain shuts down or if the enemy attacks your brain then he has every control of your body because if he has control of your brain he has control of your heart and if he has control of your heart, he has control of what you're going to say out your mouth. I was, I had preached a, a topic of, like years back about the heart, mouth, the heart, mouth, mind connection. Like everything is connected. This is connected to this, which will this. Like out of the abundance of the heart, what? The mouth speaks. So whatever I, once I have a thought in my mind or something I want to think about, and then I put my feelings 
uh, with with the things that I think about, then I'm gonna speak what I think and feel. So it's about the think, feel, connection, and then when I speak out. So what I'm saying is, you gotta ask God to some uh, from time to time to refresh your mind. Be ye, it said, the word said, be ye transformed by what the renewing of your mind. Be not conformed of what's going on in the world. Let's keep our mind on God. Let's keep Jesus on the song. This is the place. Now is the time. We are the people that Jesus had in mind. We gather in this place at this appointed time. Let's come to praise him. Let's keep Jesus on our minds. We got to keep the Lord on our mind. We got to keep him daily on our brain. There's so many stuff that we feed our, our mind. Things that we watch on television. Things that we listen to. Things that we see. So, sometimes we got to block out all the noise, block out all the toxicity, all the and all that stuff and put God in our minds. And how do we do that? We need to pray. We need to fast. We need to read our word. We got to meditate on on the things that we fast and pray and read about. You got to connect all those things to keep that mind sane. You got to shield your mind anytime you see some negativity or if somebody come at you with some gossip or some mess. Uh -uh. I don't want that. In, I don't want that in my spirit. I don't want I don't want that judging my thoughts, my things. I got to keep my mind on God because now we're in a season right now where if there's ever a time that we need God in our lives and, and, and meditate on God, it is right now. With all the things that's going on in the world right now, we got to stay focused on God. So I just come to encourage you to reform your thoughts. Ask God to change the way you, you view things. Ask God to change the way the things that you think about. Because again, when God is ready to elevate us or move us into higher positions, we have to what? We have to change our mindsets. We can't go into a, we can't go higher and higher in God with what? With the same mind frame. With the same way of thinking things. That's why I said it's just like in the physical. If if you're getting ready to go into a new position on your job, let's say you, you went from uh one position and you're about to be a supervisor, or you're about to be a vice president, or you're about to be a manager or everything, you have to change your mindset to what? Function in that position. You can't go into a, pos a new position with that old mind frame because there are what? There are new challenges. There are new duties. There are new responsibilities that require you to, to, to think differently. So again, back in the spiritual, when God elevates you higher and higher in him, you have to change your mindset to function in the positions that God is bringing you in. The Bible talks about you can't put new wine in what old wine skins. So that's the same thing when it comes to our mind. We can't go higher and higher in God thinking the same way. That's why I say, God, change the way I think. Change the way I view people. Change the way I see things keep me vigilant, keep me sharp in mind and in body and spirit. So just, just think about that. If you want God to elevate you, you want God to, whether it's financially, spiritually, physically, whatever you want God to elevate you in anything, you have to change your mindset. Just like I said, um, like my mindset is I want to lose weight or I want to work out more. Okay, so I have to change my mindset of how I eat. Like I got the working out down down to a science. I like to eat. I like to eat saints. So I gotta change my mindset on how I view food. I gotta I gotta make smarter choices. See, when we change the way we think, we make better we we, we make better decisions, better choices. Come on, God, speak, God, speak, God. So we gotta we that's why we gotta change our mindset. That's what because we gotta change the way we think. So we can make better decisions. You got to make better choices. And in order for me to make better decisions and better choices, I have to have a, I have to have a, a change of heart, a change of mind and a change of heart. So I just pray that y'all encouraged by the word. Be ye transformed by what the renewing of your mind in Christ Jesus. Let the, let, let, let God work your mind and, and block out the enemy and don't let Satan attack your mind but you fight him with the word of God 
So I pray that you're encouraged. Thank you for tuning in to Weekly Manna from Heaven. I'm back. God bless.